Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about endo fail uh, two and um, what your decision to make when it comes to clinical evaluation and radiographics. You look at the tube, tube number four and five area. There is a fistula on the buccal area between the two teeth four and five. And uh, this tube has been treated with uh, root canal by the endodontist and also being referred back to have a apical uh, ectomy done, uh, surgery done that you can see the scar right then a meso aspect of number five as well. Now this is the initial history of the tube. Tube number four with apical lesion and uh, there was uh, apparently a crown on the place on there by another dentist. And uh, so I refer a patient uh, at the initial exam to the endodontist for uh, endo uh, treatment. So patient went there, uh, and you can see that uh, the x-ray of the before the treatment, the bone level looking pretty good. Um, not a lot of bone loss around the two number four and five area. And uh, this is the picture after the uh, root canal done. Um, you can see that the uh, uh, end of material being filled all the way at the apical area mm. and um, so this is the bone level after the <clears throat> root canal treatment uh, still look pretty good uh, fast forward and see uh, what do we see uh, now we see that the uh, after the post object of uh, the tooth heal pretty well, you can see some uh, nice bone healing up like that. Um, but it's really hard to determine that uh, why the patient still have pain, discomfort. Maybe because the apical lesion is still present there. So your clinical uh, judgment now is like what to do next. So I refer the patient back to the endodontist for a final uh, concern. So the patient uh, went back to the endodontist, um, either she did the uh, CT scan or no CT scan, but she said that the tube is no longer savable. That is what the dentist said. So um, basically, I uh, decided to um, uh, agree with the, patient, the, the uh, endodontist after a perio pro and uh, see that some... Um, deep pocket on the meso aspect of a tube and um, tube have a mobility of like one or two so I took out a tube and let's see what you see here uh, you see the uh, vertical fracture of starting from the apical aspect all the way uh, toward the uh, cor coronal um, side however uh, the fracture uh, interestingly enough that it fracture at the apical part and coming up so um, my suspect is that um, what caused this fracture could it be the uh, endo retreatment procedure or apicoectomy procedure when the endodontist uh, uh, used the bird and uh, cut the uh, part of the apex and it fractured uh, this might be a different kind of uh, uh, suspected reason, I can't tell, but all I see is the uh, fracture come from the apical aspect. So le the, the, the lesson to learn is that um, there's no perfect uh, solution for um, when it comes to uh, endodontist or apicoectomy or whether it's uh, if you tell the patient that this is going to be uh, the best thing to do with apicoectomy or the best thing to do is refer to endodontist, it's hard to tell. You know, this is a controversial thing. Um, you can say that um, it 50-50 chance, um, if everything goes well, it can be good. Like in any kind of uh, medical or dental operation procedure, there's not a 100% uh, guarantee. Uh, just wanted you guys at a young dentist to uh, uh, see throughout your career that you know the more you do dentistry, the more you see different things. And this is one of the case that uh, even myself, when a patient come back with the fistula 
in there and the patient still have pain discomfort. Um, the, I'm thinking right now is that you know one of the way to do to ensure that the the tooth is fresher or not, you can actually open it up for apical uh, uh, exploratory procedure. If you open it up with microscopic, you can look at the tooth and you can actually tell whether this, the tooth is fracture as well. If you want to inspect the apical aspect of a tooth, uh, in this case, um, I did not do in that, but you know, um, because it could be the endodontist have confirmed with me using her t CT scan and scan and detected that this is a fracture tooth come from the um, apical part, and so she um, she really believed that the tooth need to be removed, which uh, she was right, and um, I went ahead and do it. So as you can see. We see it root canal through the crown, very a very conservative procedure. Doesn't look like uh, a big uh, access, uh, but still, you know, um, hard to tell. Just want you guys to see it. Something to learn every day. Have a good day, you guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.